What's going on, Cog Squad? Me and Nugget gotta tell you about what's buzzing here on the farm. This is, you're not gonna believe it. Ain't that right, Nugget? What is going on, Cog Squad? Hey, big day today. Um, a lot's going on here. Really a special day today. Even though it was a special day today, it started out like, you know, any other day here on the 40 with me and Mrs. Cog Kill knocking out the chores first thing this morning. What are you doing, Peach? What are you doing, Peach? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Foxy. Everybody's getting fixed up this morning. Meter's getting big, ain't she? She is. You know, some days I feel like she's not getting that big. And then other days I feel like she's really grown. Yeah, she's she's growing. I mean, look at her compared to the goats now. Just imagine I picked her up and carried her like a... Yeah, I don't think you'd be carrying her now. No. You could try, but you I might create so. a hernia. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think I'll be carrying her anytime soon. I don't think so either. Nuggo. When you were sick, I had to take Nugget's hanging feeder that you had been using yeah. for his food. And yes. So we had that mineral feeder that was already hanging up there, and I put his feed in it. So right. he's kind of gotten into a new routine of eating out of that mineral feeder since I took the blue we'll bucket. Away. Well, you know, we've got to get Moody some feed today. Right. And we'll get a new hanging bucket for That's a good idea. For, uh, what, for Rick, what color he wants? I'll ask him. Okay, you do that. I'll ask I'm gonna fill up water. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Quackers? Your little booth, your little booth's looking good this morning. Look at that little thing. So is it looks like a? If you ever seen a cattail, not like a, not like Tucker, the cat, but like the plant, the cattail. How all of a sudden the. The stuffing of it is just barely poking out. That's what his head looks like. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I do. Hey, Nugget, we were just discussing about getting you another bucket because you liked it so much. Do you have a color preference? We'll get you whatever color you want. Red, blue, green. I don't know what all colors they got. Purple, maybe? We'll see. We'll see what colors they got. We will see what colors they got. Come on, brother. That's what I was just saying. We got they got purple. I think they got green. Want some out of there? You're spitting it back out. You're not even eating it. There you go. What, what are you doing? There you go. Same old, same old morning chores this morning. But Brandon Builder showed up today and they were hard at it today. And we're gonna show you what those guys did here a little bit later. Sheet rockers showed up today and those guys are still here working. They're not playing any games. They were here at seven o'clock this morning and it is almost 5 30 this evening so they still hard at it and so when hopefully they'll leave here in a few minutes who knows they may work till dark i don't know <laughs> but i want to see what they did and i want you guys to see what the sheet rockers did and my plants starting to put these guys outside so they can harden it on off because they fixing to go in the ground they are fixing to go in the ground so we're gonna get them hardened off here for about a week and go ahead and put those put those babies in the ground one thing i didn't do today is i didn't work on the greenhouse i'm still on restriction i think today's my last day of restriction i think i may get started on it tomorrow um i should see you tomorrow yeah i mean ain't nothing like having a naked greenhouse in the middle of your pasture 
We're gonna put your clothes on soon. Thank goodness she ain't bashful or timid. <laughs> So something awesome happened while I was in the bed sick and this is something we've been talking about you know for a couple of months now and that is guess what we officially have honeybees here on the 40. Moody, do you remember us talking about honeybees a while back? We officially have honeybees now. Our good friend Tanya from Hidden Valley Farms has brought us honeybees. Yeah, ain't that awesome? Don't eat them. If you see a honeybee on a clover or something, shoo them off first. I don't think you need to be eating no honeybees. I don't know if you would eat a honeybee or not, to be honest with you, but you know. Yeah. You old sweet thing, you. Yeah. Well, I'm excited about the honeybees, you know? Do you like honey? Have you ever had honey? Well, when we get some honey, I'm gonna let you have a little taste. You tell me what you think, okay? I bet you're gonna like it. We just gotta keep Crazy Joe out of the way. I'm gonna go tell everybody about these bees. If I knew you wouldn't knock them all over, I'd let you go over with me. Yeah. Well look, we officially have honeybees here on the 40 and I cannot be more excited. This is this is going to be so awesome for our farm. I'm just I'm just loving this y'all. Just absolutely loving this. And these things are very very active. She brought six nooks and these are just beginning stages of being full-fledged hives at some point. And I don't know how long that takes. I don't know how long it takes for them to get from this point to a standard hive. But she brought six nooks, four of which have got feeders. And I don't know why four got feeders and two don't. Again, y'all, I'm just, my bee knowledge is pretty limited. You know, we tried bees twice before at our old farm and just, just didn't work out for us. Uh, I, I've realized that me and Brooke personally, we did not enjoy working bees i love bees i love them being here on the farm but as for tending to these things and and trying to keep up with it it was just it was way over my head and i just just didn't enjoy it and didn't felt like i didn't have the time to do it now if i'd enjoyed it i would have made time for it and i've realized that in my life now but that's what's great about these guys is is that tanya from hidden valley farm she has kind of ran out of room at her farm and she reached out to us and said, hey, can I bring some bees over there to the 40? And we're like, girl, you darn right you can. So therefore, we're not gonna work these. They're there, she's gonna handle them all. We're just providing her a great spot, hopefully a great spot um, or space for them to live. And they should have plenty of stuff here to eat. Uh, we have so many just uh, native flowers here in, in the pastures I've seen. Uh, vetch, I know we got blots of vetch. Uh, we got all types of clover. I've seen yellow clover, white clover, red clover. We got dandelions, verbena. Uh, it's just all kinds of stuff in here that I don't even know about. We also have an evasive plant that's just very prominent here in the south and that's called Chinese privet, which we all can't stand. But from what I've heard, the bees absolutely love Chinese privet. We have wild honeysuckles. We have a lot of native fruit trees here. I've seen the little stone pears. They don't get very big. Uh, we have the Chickasaw plum trees, and we have that native black cherry that uh, grows here as well, and the bees should absolutely love all that. And not to mention, we got the flower farm, we got the fruit orchard, and we got our vegetable gardens, or soon to be vegetable gardens, so these guys should be extremely happy here as I will be happy here as well because they're gonna pollinate our entire farm. Especially I'm excited about the vegetable gardens and the fruit orchards and the flowers. 
Plus, not talking about the pollination that I'm super excited about. I'm super excited about that we're going to get some cock heel honey. <laughs> you know, that's one thing that uh, that I really can't wait to check out is, is what's the honey going to taste like from our farm? I tell y'all, I could sit out here all day and just watch these guys. It's mesmerizing. It's almost like meditation. It really, really is. Especially early in the mornings, the birds are chirping. You can hear the you can hear the farm off in the distance and the buzzing of the bees. I mean, it is it's just so tranquil. And hey, who's to say that I won't go get me a bee suit, you know, and help out with these bees, kind of like I did at the 40. And Tina Turner. What you girls been up to? Rolling on a river? Rolling on a river. Look, there's a helicopter coming. Look at him running. Look at the coach. Them guys is doing. Peaches, you ain't doing nothing illegal, are you? All right, so we got two big things. The sheet rockers just left, and we're gonna go see what Brant and the builders have done in the our house. Sheet rock first, I guess. Look at here. Look at here. This is a. Uh, wow. This is something, ain't it? Expecting it to be this much done. How about you? No. They um technically did the entire house. In eleven hours. In eleven wow. hours. Well, yeah. The whole thing. Golly. That's unreal. Of course they um not through, they gotta move it. Yeah, but I mean to Oh yeah, I know. This much hung in a day? Yeah, this is crazy. Look how that dark it made it. <laughs> it's dark in here now. Ooh. So while you were sick, I put one coat of sealer on the floor. Yeah, I meant to show this to everybody before <laughs> these guys got in here. But, but the, the reason I did that is so it would make it easier to come up. And it won't be down in the floors of the concrete, it will actually be on top. Yeah, so it should come on out pretty it easy. Will. Wow. So the floor is sealed. Yeah, this is awesome. Man. Wow. I mean, it looks like a different place. Yeah, it looks way different. Can you see me? I can see you. You can't see me. I can't. Next is that horse. They threw it. They threw it up, didn't they? Man, that it was two guys. Two guys. Two guys. Two guys. That's it. Two guys. That is unreal. Crazy, right? Yes. Very much so. So this is the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> this is the living room. You see the fireplace now. And they probably used this mule deer resistant. I think they just ran out. They ran out, ran, ran, ran out of regular, and which is fine. It ain't gonna hurt nothing at all. And of course, in here is the master bedroom and a little closet. This originally was gonna be where the HVAC unit went, and we ended up putting it up yonder instead. Well, it's gonna be where the return is, yeah. not the unit. And it was just gonna take up so much space. So I was like, that's crazy. And then this is the bathroom, which y'all probably can't see at all in here. It's gotten dark now. And then the master, oh, this is the master bedroom closet and the washroom. 
all done. This wow. is great. I am amazed. I, you know, we didn't want to bother them today, so we no. didn't, we didn't come in while they were working. But I never dreamed they'd get this much done. Me either. So for it to have come this far, this fast, it's just amazing. This is awesome. I'll take it. Let's go see what Brant and the builders did today. I say builders, Brant and dude. <laughs> All right, we are stepping over into our house, and right off the bat, we officially have stairs. Mary Carl, have you been up here today? What do you think? Would she? <laughs> we have stairs, and we got three sheets of plywood up here, or whatever. Yeah, that's three more than it was. Whatever you call Decky. this stuff. Subflooring. Subflooring. What do you think? Three more than it was. You can really see how big it is up here now. Yeah. Now look out. Look out the new window. I know it. And see the window? How awesome is it? Love it. Tucker. Tucker. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, Tucker. She said I've already been up there. Oh, I've probably been up there. Hey, this baby. Is great. Oh, she's coming. Tucker. Tucker. Tucker says this ain't nothing for her. Too easy, huh? Tucker says she's gangster. She knows all about climbing up on high stuff. Looks good, don't it? Yes. Hey, Carl, did you go look at it? You see what the sheetrock guys did? Oh, gosh. You should go look. You should go look. Me and your daddy could have done that much in one day. <laughs> we decided not to. <laughs> I'm loving the window up here. I like though. it too. And I was love it. about that. You were hesitant about it. I was it. hesitant. I thought a window is not gonna look right up there. And I had to I had to I had to um I had to calm you down. I said you look to reassure me. I said I just don't look, think we need it. The window's gonna be awesome and I'm putting a barn light above it. Oh really? Yeah. You might want to get Brant painted that with this handy dandy lift. You know what I may I may have to or do. Or either that. you can borrow the lift. I may have to do that. I didn't think about that. What That's going to be on up there. Mary Carl's excited about that and stairs. <laughs> so there was something that got kept coming up. Well, number one, there's two things oh, that kept coming up. This was a major one. Number one was we talked about Bill making this little doggy room with a little doggy door here that went to a doggy door that went outside. And a lot of people thought that that was the only access to it was this little doggy door. But no, there's a door door that goes right here. Yeah, I don't so, think I would want to climb through the small yeah. opening in order to get in there and clean it and, you know, right. make sure everything was tidy. So, a full-size door will be... Yeah, there, there will be, because the reason it was going to hold the hot water heater, so the door was going to open right here. The other thing was that a lot of people suggested was that we put a door from our bedroom to the porch, but... We had this at our old house. At Little Cog, the master bedroom had a double French door that went out onto our back porch. And we literally used it one time, and that was to put the furniture in the bedroom. Yeah. And, and 17 thought, years ago. We thought when we looked at the house plans, oh my gracious, we're going to use that door we, going out to our marvelous deck, yes. over and over, going out of our bedroom. Yes. Have our coffee out there. Mm -mm. Never used it. So we never used it. As a matter of fact, like if we ever had to use that door, it was like it would be like stuck because it just never had been open for so long. <laughs> matter of fact, if we were still there, yeah. we would probably be thinking about how to enclose it. We had actually even thought yeah, about we that. Had. Yeah, we had to make because we couldn't use that wall for anything. That we couldn't use yeah. the wall, and it was just double doors, That's which right. took up the whole entire wall. It was beautiful. It was. It was beautiful. The but, con the concept sounds awesome, and not to say that people do not use them because obviously they do. Yeah. But, but for no, me and you, we never oh. used that double door going out of our master bedroom. We learned, and we d decided that it was not something we needed in right. this build. So we will opt for a window overlooking <laughs> the fruit orchard. The fruit orchard. That's right. Oh, you yeah. know what another thing that I saw was? What? Some people said, uh-oh, that shower, you're not going to be able to get it in the bathroom. 
Because there's no way. Well, look where the shower is. Today. <laughs> I f- even forgot. I didn't even notice the shower wasn't in there. Yeah, they said you're not going to be able to get it through the bathroom because the, the doors are here. Well, I think what they did was took a couple of studs out. Yeah. They anticipated being able to put it in here. So, yeah. yes, it will go back on that wall. Yeah, it is in here. We was not worried about that because we ran into that on the other the other house. <laughs> so, we had yeah. it in here in plenty of time to where yeah. he could get it up before the metal went on or that's any right. sheet rock or That's right. Well, he knew it was coming. He did. Yep. Another, another thing that a lot of people got tickled about was I said there was a kitchen sink above the window and uh, that <laughs> Oh, you know what else I read? Okay, come over and, to the kitchen window. Oh, me. Out there. Look, somebody's riding their bicycle. Scooting across the pasture. <laughs> Whistling. I wish I caught her on camera today, but she's got Zerk this little backpack that she can carry Zerk around in. And she was riding her bicycle with Zerk. <laughs> and he loves it. Oh my gosh. She practiced with him for a few days, putting him in there with, yeah. you know, one of his favorite treats right. and letting him get used to it. And the next thing I know is... She's going out the door with him on her back, and I'm like, where are you going? She said, ah. <laughs> My gosh, I didn't think this day would ever come. It's awesome, ain't it? I mean, we're we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, yeah, we're doing good. We're I'm doing excited. good. I'm excited. And then Mr. Greg told me that he'll be starting on the septic tank in about a week and a half yeah. to two weeks. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll be not next Monday, but maybe the Monday afterwards. Yep. Um, things are falling into place. Things are falling into We're place. We're going to need to get the plumber back. Got to get the plumber back. Got to get the electrician, which is your daddy's mm-hmm. crew back. Mm-hmm. The cabinet guy's coming. Yes. I guess tomorrow, because he told me the the latter part of this week, which okay. is tomorrow's Friday. Right. So he'll, get, he'll come in and he'll do his final measurements. And before you know it, we're going to be... Seeing that camper go down the road, hooked up to somebody else's vehicle. <laughs> I'm a <gonna> way. <laughs> it served its purpose, but I don't know if I want to go camping again. And I want to say something. Every time you wear that shirt, people oh, yeah. start wanting to know about it. And when we went to the Oki Homestead Conference, we had one of our wonderful viewers made us all one of those shirts and not she only even all had, of us she made my mom one she made well. your mom one too and she, mom loves hers just as much as i do mine <laughs> and so they're so they're not for sale they're we not don't, we don't we don't th- that was hers but it may be something that we could we could kind of kind of do something to duplicate or, with yeah but a lot of people when i wore it on the podcast wanted to know did we have this shirt for sale and we don't but we certainly appreciate that sweet lady that bought them for yes us. Tucker, we'll see if we can get you one made, baby. Moody said he wanted one, but I told him he didn't have a, a 23 xl He'll have to get it over his horns. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he'll have a tank top. Yeah, yeah he need a um, tank top. He looks like a tank top. He does. Yeah. yeah. All right. Another awesome day. No, I don't want none of that. <laughs> mm. Coming along. Coming along. Coming along.